So let's take a look at the uh, NetApp tools that are uh, being developed to support this. So what I've done here is we've logged into the uh, the VASA vendor provider and I'm going to take a look at a few commands here to show what's going on on the NetApp storage side here. So the first thing I've done is take a look at the container list. So we see our favorite NetApp container one and we see there's actually three flex volumes behind that. I can see the name of those flex vols. We also see uh, NetApp container two there as well. Uh, so here I've run another command called cluster list. This is showing me the uh, cluster modes, uh, configurations, the servers that are in there, and all the flex vols that uh, I have in this configuration. Uh, now we're going to take a look at a, an inventory view. Uh, and what we're running here, this is a developer interface, so please don't be scared that this is going to be a new management tool concept by NetApp. This is really uh, for our developers so they can see exactly what's going on. So here we're taking a look at more details about those two containers, um, so our NetApp container one, etc. Uh, here I can actually take a look at the uh, VM volumes that are on those containers. And we see the two VM volumes that we created, the test and the clone of that test vvol, uh, and all the different information about the VMDKs and all that good stuff. Um, so this is a, a really useful tool for our developers, uh, but of course not uh, really <laughs> a very usable tool by customers. Uh, here we can actually see some of the tasks that have been uh, we've gone through. So the previous one there was actually a snapshot task. Here we're highlighting the clone task that we ran through, and uh, we can take a look at some of the uh, statistics. What has been going on on the VASA provider? Um, all the Zappy calls, the API calls, the providers been making to the controllers, and there's literally hundreds of them in the uh, testing we'll be doing here. Um, Again, not very usable by end customers, extremely useful for our support guys. And some of the uh, this tool will also be, uh, a lot of this will actually be useful for customers, but more in the support uh, side. So we can actually generate support logs of what was going on in a system, etc. Here we can see some of the uh, tool, uh, what was going on with the controllers, uh, when we did snapshots, what were the costs of taking those snapshots. Uh, and a lot of really good information here.